Hey guys, Jay Snow, and we're back to Shadowlands. So I did take a break from World of Warcraft. I did resub, but I don't have any new content as far as, like, in-game to show you guys. But Blizzard just announced the new Shadowlands experience for leveling up alts, which is freaking amazing because I cannot tell you how tired I am of going through the same zones over and over again to do annoying quests that either don't work or they just take forever. So basically what happens is once you hit Mac, once you hit max level and you complete the Shadowlands storyline, you'll be able to choose how you want to level up on your next character when you do the mall intro quest. So you can't skip the intro quest in the Shadowlands expansion, but once you do it with an alt and you complete the storylines on a different character, you'll choose between Threads of Fate and Replay Storyline. So Replay Storyline is of course you just do the same thing as you would do as any other expansion, but Threads of Fate, basically the game becomes Diablo 3 and you just run around the place and start doing world quests and you can collect end game currency which I think is a huge plus so you can collect end game currency you don't have to worry about gearing up alts and stuff like that once you get to the end game like other previous expansions right now you can start far farming and working on that and then you can also level up by doing bonus quests and world quests and dungeons you can also do side quests so I get, I'm guessing any quests that are not associated with the main story you can also do but the only da the only downside to this is that if you choose Threads of Fate, you cannot replay the storyline as they don't have the technology, so to say, to change the storyline. So basically when you choose Threads of Fate, all your quests become completed. So there's no way to go back and redo those quests. So it's up to you if you want to do the storyline again. But I mean, most I would assume most people like me who are Ultaholics would love just to get on to, you know, leveling up and doing whatever you want for leveling. And then another good thing is, since it's all daily and world quests and stuff like that, you can do it at your leisure, and you don't have to feel like you're missing out on anything, or you don't feel pressured to do quests really fast, so that's pretty cool. As far as leveling speeds, they did not mention anything about leveling speeds, so it does seem to be the same. Might be a little bit easier questing, or might be a little bit easier with world quests, really depends. I assume once flying is finally unlocked in the expansion, it'll probably be pretty easy, it'll be probably pretty easy to do world quests. So yeah, once flying comes out, I can see this being a huge bonus. And then the picture I'm showing up here right now is just a quick example. This is subject to change, but you'll get some rewards for doing the quest. And the only zone you can't enter is the Maw. So you can enter the Bastion, you can enter Maldraxxus, you can enter Ardenweld, and you can enter Rivendeth, but you can't enter anything else. So hopefully, this will be a good change of pace for people up to level up things. I, I, I definitely like it. It would be pretty cool if they actually added this to old expansions, but I kind of doubt they'll do it. But we'll have to see what happens. So anyway... Thank you for watching, feel free to subscribe for finally we'll be having some more WoW content in the future, and I'll see you guys next time.